Hey everyone, it's Tanya here from Vegan in Michigan. Um, I was just inspired to make a video because I'm leaving, as you can see, I'm leaving the theater, Quality uh, GDX in Saginaw, Michigan. And I just left the screening of e Eating You Alive. And I'm just kind of inspired, I guess, because there was a pretty good turnout. Um, I made a new friend. Hi, Jody. And um, I saw Rosa from Eatin' Vegan. She came all the way up from Flushing because I guess it wasn't playing in that area. Um, so bad for her, but good for me because I got to make see those girls. And it was um, it was really cool. Like veganism is exploding so 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 much. I should say veganism slash plant based dieting. And so many people are hearing about it. Um, and it's so cool because lately I've been seeing the numbers of like the percentages like. It seems like just a year ago it was like one to two percent of people in America were vegan and now it's something like six possibly seven percent and that is crazy and so cool and we're almost near the tipping point of ten percent and when you hit ten percent things can just explode and that's just really really cool so movies like this like eating you alive starring like it had um, Samuel L. Jackson if you know something about me, Samuel L. Jackson is the reason why I use my, my middle initial L, because he's so cool. Uh, so he's in it, talking about his diet, and also how he's like gone back to eating meat and experienced bad side effects for his health. And so he's considering, or maybe he did go back to being vegan. Um, it's produced by James Cameron and his wife, Susie Amos. They were in the movie. And... Um, a lot of the big, all the big names, all the big names, like, um, you know, Dr. Greger, uh, Dr. Furman, uh, T. Colin Campbell, Caldwell Esselstyn, um, I'm forgetting some big ones I know, Dr. Lyle, and uh, Chef AJ is in there, and it was super cool because there were a lot of Michigan people, like a big, big Michigan presence in that movie. Um, Paul Chatlin, um, who I don't know, but hey Paul, maybe I'll meet you someday. He, I've seen him around at some of the PBNSG, the plant-based nutrition and support group meetings and events that they've had. Oh, do you, Dr. Neil Barnard, forgot to tell you, he was in that. Um, and so I've, I've seen Paul around um, and he shared his story, so I didn't actually realize that he came from um, a lot of health problems and his health was really improved by a plant-based diet. Also, um, a guy named Mark Ramirez from Michigan, and I've seen Mark at some of the PBNSG events as well. Dr. Carrie Saunders from Michigan, she was in it quite a bit. Um, also, I feel bad, but there was a vegan chef and YouTuber from Michigan, and I want to look her up because that was cool to see another, like I said, a big Michigan presence in that movie. So. There's a lot of documentaries coming out and I am really happy when people who are not vegan and didn't even really know that they had an interest in that kind of thing, when they see those documentaries and it changes their life, you know? Um, last night I was out to dinner at a meeting and I met a couple who watched What the Health and went vegan, like on the spot. And the guy had had a lot of health problems <clears throat> and um, he lost like 70 pounds and he's doing really, really well. And so they believe in it. And it's just really cool because like coming out of the woodwork, you know? <laughs> so um, I'm such a groupie and it's such a junkie for all this kind of stuff. And I've been watching so many videos since going vegan, like almost like two and a half years ago that I can't say as far as my review of the movie, um, even though I hate movie reviews because I'm an indie filmmaker and I'm just like, you know, we don't even know what goes into making these kinds of movies. But anyway, um, I, I can't say because I'm a big nerd about this kind of stuff that I actually learned anything. But you know what? That's kind of the beauty of it because I think when you start thinking about going plant-based, you it seems overwhelming. Like there's so much information to learn. But then as you learn it, I guess like everything, when you learn something, it's not as hard anymore. And so I think when you start learning the ins and outs of a plant-based diet or um, a vegan diet and how to like live and what to make and what to eat and all that kind of stuff, it's really not that hard anymore. So I can say like when I was watching the film, the information, um, what it was things that I've heard before, but again, I'm a big nerd with this, but uh, the way it was presented was great and exciting and it's going to turn on so many people who haven't heard this information before. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying I don't need to hear it again because I absolutely do. And I actually had a conversation in the lobby with um, some new friends and, you know, 
I had a bucket of popcorn with me and I was like, oh my gosh. But you know, I also have, let me show you, that I ate on the way here to the theater, um, sweet potatoes. So I've been eating clean all day, so I had some popcorn, you know. But anyway, I, um, you know, I most certainly need to clean up the oil and the salt and all that kind of stuff for my diet. But anyway, um, that they covered the health aspects of a plant-based diet and a vegan diet um, really well and made it interesting. And like I said, so many people are going to see this movie, just like What the Health. And um, they did cover, which I was really glad, even though it's always hard to see, but they did cover the animal side of a plant-based diet. And they showed some factory footage, um, you know, which is always hard to watch. But... Uh, you know, people think when you're not eating a plant-based diet, you just think that that magical red stuff in the grocery store, you know, grew from the ground or something. We have these weird ideas that it's not really a living being that was suffering. Um, so, you know, that's it's important. So I'm really, really glad that they covered that as well. It was brief, and I think any animal activists that watch this video or watch the movie... Um, might say that it was a little bit too brief but they did you know they they covered it and it was in there and that was a good thing you know to at least start to open up people's eyes i think so anyway i'm not sure what the release is going to be for this film like if it's going to go on netflix right away or whatever but i know that especially all of you guys watching this video are going to watch it and share the crap out of it and i bet it's going to change a lot of people just like what the health did so i'm super excited so uh anyway this is my first uh car vlog <laughs> um, okay, well, anyway, have a good night and look for eating, 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 what's it called? <laughs> eating, eating you alive. That's what it's called. Um, wow, I need to go home. It's only 940. I can't really say that I'm tired and that's what caused that little brain malfunction. But anyway, thanks for watching and take care. See you soon. Bye.